Welcome to Satisfactory, my name is Nilaus and this is episode 6 of our Let's Play campaign. We are at, uh, in update 4 and we have now steel up here, just the basic steel components and we are going to move sort of forward on that. We have our rotors and yeah, I do know that some people don't like these uh, platforms. I do have an idea that my, my idea concept is that I'm going to make these platforms and as I get more of them, it'll be less obvious that they're floating because there'll be more connections between them. And I think that's going to make it look even better. But for anyone who cannot stand looking at floating platforms and just absolutely hate it. All right. Well, maybe this series is not for you. But for everyone else who thinks this is awesome and looks good, then uh, thank you for following along and subscribing and liking. You know, you know the drill. Anyway, we are going to make a plan for what we want today. I want to get this mess, which has been there from the very beginning. I want to get that out of the way. So I need to... Oh... Yeah, I need to get rid of all of this crap here. Um, that one. So I can get rid of my hub. There we go. And I'm going to make a few extra boxes of shame. Okay, so we want to make a hop platform because... Oh, there's a lot of crap here. Um, the reason why we want to make a dedicated hop platform is because it will allow us to, to start... Uh, how do we say this? Uh, it'll allow us to start researching for the tier 5, 6. So that's going to be... I'm going to show you a really cool way that you can actually do... Get this one sorted, which is so much easier than what you normally want. So you need 500 of the smart plating. That is uh, plates and rotors, so we have those. Then we need 500 of the versatile framework. That's modular frames that we don't have. And then it's the beams that we do have now and then the last one is something we don't even have yet and uh, that's also we are also going to unlock those kind of things so what the first thing i want to do is i want to go here and at that point i think oh i just put it in an absolutely random place and that one is oh no 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 don't accidentally deconstruct the oh, crap all right, that is uh, me running around like an idiot. I'm going to stand here. So I want to place it here, one. So we know this is a layer that's uh, consistent with that platform. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, I've been asked a number of times, why seven? What's so magical about seven? And I couldn't actually remember it. And someone uh, reminded me in... Uh, in, during a live stream uh, that it is actually because back in the days when I used when we didn't have all the fancy hyper tubes or zip lines then the only way to get up a platform was through the use of we didn't even have ladders back then <laughs> it was crazy uh, it was uh, with jump pads and I love the jump pads and jump pads could jump six and a half tiles so I could just make this one Boop. I can make that one and then I could jump up just on that ledge and that's why I put it seven high, uh, because that's kind of the, I don't know, ideal in that case. Uh, that doesn't seem to have a lot of value, so we'll cut that out there. We're going to build it here. We're going to get that one in... Hmm. There, I guess. And I will get this one. That'll be here, and here. Then we're going to get this one up. So what I want to do up here is just make a platform that we are going to use for only a few things, like uh, like building a nice hub up here. And I'm going to get that one up there. Now, I think I also need to remove this because now it gets really silly. So I can build it, make it like this, and then I, I guess I realized that there's a, this is super misaligned. So we built that as well. Here, maybe, or maybe here. I guess we can build it here. All right, and then a five. That'll be. That one and here. And then on the inside, that's where I connect them together. I think that's the right thing to do. But they're right, really not powered now, are they? 
Uh, I'll just take it from here and go here. That is now powered. That means the power is also going up there on that one. But we also need from here and up to... Ah, well, that's brilliant. And that one. And then we need to get this in our hand and jump. Looking good. I didn't even want to go up here. I don't know why I did. Now, the, if you press C, it actually drops down instead of jump. Uh, instead of jumping up. Yeah, so that doesn't. Don't like that. I want it on both sides. It really doesn't cost anything more to do that way. And why are we spending so much time on this? I don't know. There. We can go down again. Looking good. And C to drop off and go up here. And then we'll build a nice platform. We should have all the space we need and C for dropping down. Here. That'll be north south. Yeah. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Let's do 13 because 13 is... Okay, hold on. That's Then I can do the half. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Alright, so that is going to be our platform. I'm just going to go out here so we can kind of see how big it's going to be. And then I can complete this so we can get on with it. Uh, yep. Far over. Is that it? Yes, that's it. And we go home. All right, so let me uh, just get this platform done for us because uh, we want to make sure that we can actually build up here. And that means all of these trees sticking through. I need to get rid of those. So let's uh, get back when it's done. So we have now built the platform. It's ready to go. And what I need to do is it's been built 13 by 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That is going to be the middle and there is no way that I can place things in the middle without my patented middle of uh, there, middle adjuster, that one. Especially not something as weird as the hub. So we're going to build the hub before we die. That I don't know what happens if you die when you don't, if you don't have a hub. Don't know. Don't actually intend to find out. There. All right. So we have built the hub. That is good. I have to click on everything here. And that one, and in here, just to stop it from blinking. And also, we should definitely get some upgrades here. Yeah, let's get some upgrades. But uh, first, we want to build sort of the, some of the necessities we want. So if I'm out here, well, what are the things that I really want to have? I definitely want to have an equipment workshop really close. So let me just build it. Yeah, maybe like that. It's not like that. Definitely not. Equipment workshop like this. Yeah, that looks pretty much spot on. And about as middle as it could be. Then we can also get the little shop here. Boom. And on the other side, we'll get the mem. And I don't have the reinforce because I was an idiot to do that. All right. So I am going to also start. Unlocking some things. We want to get unlock this and that one. So let's unlock all we can here. I'm going to go grab some stuff and then we're going to unlock this. And so we have all the things we need there, there, there. Ready to go. We got advanced steel production coming up and we can get the next one. Reached. Logistics can be improved with a larger storage container, enhanced conveyor belt efficiency, as well as the ability to store excess power for later use. An additional project part can now be constructed. Further progress to the next phase is now possible. All right, so that is uh, progress to the next stage is now possible. That means we can now build the last bit of this, which is uh, let's see the parts, and that's really what I want to show you how to do now. That's called huh? Automated wiring. Ah, that's the one. Yeah, so we need status. That's not going to be something we can do this episode, but we can uh, get on with it from here. So what I want to do is I want to show uh, a really cool way that you can build some things in... In... Uh, in yeah, what, what am I saying? I'm 
It's a cool way that you can build things easily instead of building like a massive production facility for only 500. You can actually just make it like this. And uh, I'm just going to build these just primarily just to get the sense of scale. And then I will. Hmm. That will be not. That'll be on the middle here. Yes. So I'm going to put a splitter. Splitter of positioning there all right like this it's not going to be the correct adjustment because i want so the idea is i am going to make some yeah i knew i knew i was going to be aligning it incorrectly okay so come on i can't talk and build at the same time so i'm just going to be build uh, building or, or talking uh it's pretty shitty that i can't build and talk at the same time being considering my job so I'll try again. There. So what I want to make is kind of a little hack like this. Which will just make the things we need at a at a sort of modest pace. And that one goes here. Okay, so now we go. Yep, yeah, that one goes in. That one goes in. This one goes right there because that is 90 degree turns automatically insured and what i can then do is i can set this one up to say hey smart plating how about just building some smart plating let's also build increase the speed so it works at twice the speed then we can get reinforced the iron plates and rotors building in here that is going to be if i needed 500 of these i just put 500 into each box and that is going to be great I think that is a pretty damn cool way of doing things. And let's go up here. I don't need this one anymore. I don't need this one anymore. And this is going to be like a, th it's a thing that I would recommend building. And this is actually why I wanted to, to get this sorted there. And I'll throw you to the corner. There we go. So this is now powered, I'm not doing anything. And that will just allow us to build what we need if we just have some small things we need or some low, lower quantity item and we don't want to build the whole setup just yet we can build this this kind of thing it works great for assemblers it works great for also for constructors but really there's anything in constructors that you need uh that's gonna be one two three do we want to make more i think we can make probably make you with three for now there and then i scale it up so that it hits over on that side I'm just looking to the right hand side so you can see here there is a connection. I think that's okay. Is it? No, it's not. It's the wrong one. That was there. That is because the line, the blue green line towards the left is at the bottom. That means it's linking middle to middle. If I do one tile over and one step over now, there's a slight green line that is not at ground level. That means it is linking opening to opening. So this opening here, inbound and inbound. And of course we need this here. That one and there. Quantity is not going to be a lot, but this is going to be an absolutely amazing way to do the stuff we need. So, for example, we could do this part. We don't have modular frames. Well, then we probably don't want to do this yet because we don't have modular frames. But I can then use it for making modular frames. That's pretty convenient. And I could also take like the last one and say, you know what? I actually need some encased industrial beams and I don't really bother with this part. So, again, we can do this. I want to get it all of these up to 200% because, well, there you go. Why not? And let's get some power. Power is coming from this one in, in there. This one. So this is a really simple, uh huh, really simple way to to get some some product done for the space elevator and i really love that way it's a super simple way 
And uh, also if you just like, like, I need some modular frames, I need some encased industrial beams, then for example, for the hyper tubes, I need 50 industri encased industrial beams. So let's get that one up and running. We have a little hub. Uh, other things that we could do would be like making, I know that down here we have in one of these boxes of shame, we have some Caterium that we can just make a little Caterium build uh, smelter here just for the hell of it. And yeah, so let's do a supply run so that we can get this one in. The thing is like, I would need to get like for this one, 500 plus 500. So we get that one. And then for the next one, I wish I could, uh, is there a, this one will be, I don't know, how much do we want here? It's going to give us two module frames. If I want 500 of these, then I'm going to need 200, 250 crafts. And that means 250 times that, so 750 reinforced plates and a stupid amount of that. Yeah, okay. So yeah, let us uh, let me just uh, find some random stuff to put in here. So here we are, we have uh, put a lot of materials in here so that this one starts working. Just in all of these, I put in a lot of materials. So now we can just slowly get things operational. This one is the last one I put in. So of course it's the slowest one, but we're gonna need it for our hyper tube research. They're also here. I'm just gonna get uh, a lot of, of modular frames because we are going to need modular frames for the next project. The next project I think is going to be, see we have power storage. I wanna get into that, but uh, right now I'd rather have the power actually done than the power storage. So here we have the smart platings. Once we have uh, this one complete, this one will make 500 in about uh, two hours and a bit, two hours and five minutes, I think. We'll make all the stuff we need and then I can just uh, put them in and restructure this one into something else. So that is a really convenient, uh, basically an automated handcrafting. Yeah, let's, that's what I'm gonna call it, automated handcrafting. And I'm gonna build that one and that one. And then we just need this one, which I don't have, but we can uh, we can wait for that because we absolutely want hyper hyper tubes. The one thing we should be a bit worried about is the power, though, because I'm gonna get this one up and I'm gonna get start making hyper tubes. So once I have hyper tubes, we can see that our production or consumption here is close to the 600 that our power plants are making. But we, and or not, but but and we do not want the biomass burners to be a critical part of our power supply. So we have to go over and re on and upgrade our, um, our power co power plants over here uh, along the line, but going over there kind of sucks. So let's build a hyper tube over there before. Let me grab those uh, 50 in case industrial beams and be ready to head out. Okay, let's see. Yep, we got enough. And that is good. We can go back and switch it on. So we get the hyper tubes unlocked. That we do here. Hyper tubes unlocked. Whoop. Great. That is excellent. We have hyper tubes. Let's hear. Fix it incorporated has processed and incorporated frequent pioneer requests for pipe based personal transport. Introducing hyper tubes. Safe, aesthetic, adaptable, fun. Enjoy a view of your hard work as you soar through incredibly tight turns. Build them today. Note, Fixit Incorporated is not responsible for any harm caused by irresponsible use of this product. That seems reasonable. So I think I want to make a hyper tube that goes from here. I mean, the hyper tubes are amazing. And I think I want to make like a I don't have any of those. Uh, I'm just going to steal from this location. Oop. There we go. And we're probably also, I think it's one thing that needs more of these. So let's go a few more. Yeah, 14. That should be enough. I think the this stand, this one. Ha. Oh, no. I don't have the pipes. All right. All right. There. Nope. And yeah, I don't have pipes. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, we need pipes. We need pipes. So I definitely need to get some pipes. What I also want to do is I want to gear up so that I can go out and build the power plant. That is going to be the big thing. We are just going to rush through the power plants because we've already done the power plants once. So there's no reason to do like the whole thing once more. But let's, uh, let's, uh, let's gear up and find what we need. 
So we are almost ready to head out. I've just marked that I need 10 coal generators. We currently have eight coal generators and we are going to need 18. We are going to take our new hypertube up here for the platform and it goes up here. And then we also need to get just a few of these. That's 200, good. So we are going to go all the way out here, see if we can find some location and not fall down. Thank you very much. There. This will be where we start our big hypertubing endeavor. Boop. There. And fits perfectly with this one. And then I, we just go onwards and onwards and onwards down here. As far as we can. It's actually pretty neat because I've already indicated the location here. Yeah, that's not where we want to make it. Here. And uh, they reach as far as the, as the power poles do. So I can... Just safely put them next to the power poles because I know that's going to fit. Yep, let's, uh, you know, what? let's get this done and actually ride the hypertube instead of watching it getting built. It's much more fun to ride it than to watch it getting built. You know the drill. It's just drag, 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 drag. So here we have the hypertube being built and uh, I'm just going to jump in it and then I am going to mitigate all of the million billion comments that will be like did you actually know that you can make a cannon and uh, that game it out actually I know I freaking made a tutorial on it before that so yes I know you can make a hypertube cannon and if you're interested there is a tutorial on my uh, on my YouTube channel I just don't really like it I might need it for very long distances but I actually really like enjoying the view as I go out here and I think the other thing is they it's a bit gimmicky it's pretty cool to do it once in a while but I don't really feel like I super need it um, at this point but we have now arrived at our coal facility it is expanded a bit so that there's more room uh, just to reiterate what is happening here and how it works look at all this beautiful thing what is happening is that out here i have a single coal facility down here this is bringing in a mark ii belt going all the way up here and that gives 120 inbound so the 120 inbound will give us the opportunity to make uh let's see that will make be 15 for each so that is eight in total so if i now said what if this one this one one and no e3 if that one was faster now obviously nothing happens when it just gets faster like this and e3 so also upgrade this one so the whole thing we upgraded back, back there we upgrade the miner we upgrade all this that means now we can now get 270 inbounds 270 inbound divided by 15 is 18 so i can actually get 18 in total that's why i added 10 coal generators over here to our uh, to our view so what i need to do is i need to upgrade all the belts here to mark three belts luckily i brought a lot of uh, of the uh, beams then i need to build this part here that will be this will be the middle uh hold on okay so it's on the lines be between these okay so it's gonna be here that one it's gonna be one more and it's gonna be in this one. Two. Three. Ah, I don't think I did it right. No, I did not do that one. But somehow I just can't do it right. It's so difficult for me to get this one correct. There. And it must be on this line. Yes. And the last one out here, that must be on this line. Boop. And then there's a bit of leeway. And I'll build it on the other side as well. But we will not be doing all the other crap because, damn, that's a lot. Uh, that's something I'll just enjoy be building myself. But let's, uh, let's go through the things that I want to build. And then I can go through it as I build it, how it works. Because although I can scale up there i can scale up the belt here so it gets 270 in that means i get enough coal for all of these but i don't have enough water so couldn't i just extend the water well actually no each of these take 45 water per minute and 45 minute 45 times 
that is oh why uh 780 per minute that is too much so i'm going to have to bring in some more water and i'll bring it in from this side so that they will meet in the middle so i have two pumping in from that side and two pumping in from this side just to illustrate the idea <clears throat> is that i will get these exactly like i have it on the other side like that and like that these will go into and that is the piping it has to be middle here that one so it's gonna be one two there and the other piping will be exactly at middle here and And that one. How does this seem like it's further than that one? Maybe it isn't. That distance. It definitely seems like it's closer. How is that? Oh, oh, this one is not placed in the middle. Never mind. That's why. From here to here. So now they're the same distance and they will go at this location. And somehow that's still not. And on the other side will be exactly the same. And I'm not going to be building all of it there. All right. So <clears throat> maybe we can from up here get a sense of uh, what we want. Yeah, so we need to build this one here. We need to build some more water plants down here. What I'm currently doing is each of these can produce 120. So I've downscaled them to produce 100 each. So they get 300. Ah, bastard. Yeah, it's not going to make it easy, all right? And I can't even take it out because it's in the middle of the poison. So I'm going to take two of these, scale it up to 150 each. That's 125% productivity and then build some more on this line to go that way let's uh let's jump and see how that works speaking of that let's jump and see take a look at this beautiful site big part <laughs> wow someone switched on the light suddenly <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but somehow the uh, sun just rose and I can't even see where it is. Uh, that one? Did that, that just flicker? Yeah, whatever. Um, we have this one done and I think I'll just make sure we go here. It took a bit of time, but uh, it's, it's, it's happy. It's happy. Happy flows here. And I will be just jumping down. Hopefully not get shot by this. So we can see here we have uh, pumps. Ow. Great. Uh, we have pumps. One, two, three. It's got to be... Uh, I took the advice that uh, some of you have provided earlier about the way that I've done it before. And after a few iterations, even I understood how to do that. So basically the idea is that... I'm just going to show you. When I have one of these, I can... There is a blue blob there. And it kind of snaps. So... Boop, snap. Then first... We can rotate whether it goes up and down. Then I go click it once for going up. Then rotate it for how I want to yeah, rotate that one. And then I will get power into that one. So it's actually a lot easier. It, uh, I've uh, Kudos to, uh, to, to Coffee Stain Studio for taking something that was absolutely horrendous and making it slightly less worse. That is the biggest compliment you, you're going to get from me right now. Slightly less worse is uh, all I can muster. So what I have here is I've uh, put down four more. No, I have. Why do I still have three on that side? And three on that. And two on that side. That's actually kind of weird. I have too many over there. Ah, it doesn't matter. I have over here. These ones are working at 150 per minute. So that's going to be a full pipe here. Maximum throw of two and, uh, 300. And the other ones have also been scaled up 
the ones over there, the old ones, they're going to that side, coming up and going this way. This one's coming up and going that way. And that means the whole power plant is fully stacked. I think that I just realized that I can't get I can't get up there in any other way than from this way. Oh, crap. We are just going to go up here. So what uh, we have done now is we have uh, scaled up the power, which is super important. It also allows us to use the batteries now. We should be pretty good. We have 1,350 coal power. We're just going to check on this power pole to see if it's okay. Going through that one. Let's check. 1,350. Yep. And we have some batteries that just hooked up back in the base. Uh, we are going to take a more closer look at that next time because that's a pretty cool way of, uh, of managing it. What I want to do as well. Uh, so, <clears throat> yeah, so the next time we actually have a bit of power so we can start expanding. And that's going to be status because we need the status and uh, in order to make the, I don't know what it was, automatic wiring or something like that. I can't remember what it is but it's the part, the last part, automatic wiring. This one requires status. So we need status to make the automated wiring. When we have status, we can do this. We can also go into motors. And that means we can slowly work our way to unlocking tier five and six. And that's gonna be the next big challenge for us. So with that, I will uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I personally feel that it was a bit unstructured. I'd, uh, I'd do my best to, uh, to try to make the next one a bit more structured than this. Uh, but we did get some pretty cool things like the hub platform, uh, the automatic handcrafting, and uh, a power expansion done in one, as well as testing the hypertubes. That's kind of a lot. So thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button. Let me know your good and bad ideas in the comment section. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, then consider subscribing so you can keep up with all the cool content that I try to provide for you here on the channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care and stay effective.